Oracle Fusion Asset Lease Welcome to my channel I am going to talk about the process or the features as Oracle Asset Lease in Oracle Cloud As an introduction that leasing is an important activity for many organizations whether public, private, profit, non-profit organizations it means of gaining access to assets, obtaining financing, reducing organizations exposure to the risk of asset ownership instead of to be the owner of the assets I'm going to leasing some of assets Many organizations lease assets such as real estate, airplanes, trucks, ships, constructions, manufacturing equipment, etc. as a lease. Because of prevalence of leasing, it's important for users of financial statements to have complete and understandable picture of an organization's leasing activities. There are two leading accounting standard setting bodies like IASP as International Accounting Standard Board and Financial Accounting Standards Board published the new lease accounting standards as IFRS 16 leases and lease this from January 2019 Oracle Fusion Assets allow the lease to comply with these new accounting standards from Oracle Fusion Financial Cloud release 13 in Oracle Fusion LC can use two modules Oracle Assets and Oracle Payables together from Oracle Assets you will create asset lease calculate lease liability cost to be capitalized you will add the leased assets to the asset book you can calculate periodic depreciation expense interest expense if you have some interest on the lease liability you will calculate periodic lease expense you will generate generate sorry periodic lease payments invoices the integration with account payables to send each period or quarterly or whatever the invoices from fixed assets to payable to make the payments on the due date schedule transfer lease payment invoice to fusion payables change lease term you after that you can make some amendment on the lease you can also terminate the lease you can after that or by the end report and inquire on leased assets from payables only you have to validate approve account lease invoices transferred from assets and pay lease invoices on the due date before going on I just need to give you some comparison between Oracle lease accounting module and assets leases in Oracle Fusion Fixed Assets this is the functionality whatever it's applicable in lease accounting leases modules whatever is applicable here not applicable here and vice versa for example the functionality of ROU as a right to fuse assets can be transferred from one location to another or a change in depreciation in module lease accounting is no in assets leases yes but no retroactive or backdated assets transfers system control setup maintained it's a business unit, no period clause involved in the module of lease, but in assets leases at the asset book level, maintenance, closing, as you know. Payment flow to payment module, all payment generated at the same time with future payment, but put on hold by default. Here, yes, invoices generated, and you can also, instead of generated automatically, you can create it manually in account payment. Primary accounting IFRS and the SCC, yes, yes, but list of value of type payment is limited. 
Secondary accounting standard is applicable here, not applicable here. Multi currency applicable in these accounting leases of the module, not applicable in asset leases. Months and close maintenance, no, these expenses calculated don't depend on monthly task. Here, yes, it's calculated, must be or run every assets book period. It's there are really relation between the assets book and asset leases. Lease exists under as a business unit here asset book. Write an application details, no payment generated, just for traceability. Here no. Millstone including active bail notifications, yes, no. Workflow exists for approval routing of lease. It's applicable here, not applicable here. Payment template Discount rate indexes that allow for account CC to bear to pre specified. Yes, no. Fixed rent increases. Yes, no. Lease payment update. Yes, no. Index uh, based rate. Yes, no. What about miscellaneous lease payment? The lease administrator can capture these expenses cleaning, insurance, uh, operating expenses, blah blah blah. Yes, there are many lists of values. Here can be only captured as financial charge to the existing lease. What about transaction dashboard UI? Yes, lease accounting dashboard. Here there is no existing basic UI that shows leases and depending leases, whatever the invoices, and we will show you this later. FBDI, yes, there is a template. Here also there is one template to upload the asset lease through FBDI. What is the option? Yes, yes. Termination is applicable in both, but here basic offering. What about the reporting? Yes, limited reporting in assets lease in Oracle Vision fixed assets. What about the amendment? Yes, extensive type of amendment. Here, very limited financial changes are allowed. Versioning, yes, history tabs that allow you review and compare lease versions. There is no UI as a user interface that allow to compare leases versions, either current, barrier, previous, blah, blah, blah. Assets impairment, yes, for lease module, and also it's applicable for assets leases. Calculation method used by each module, the daily rate, assets leases using daily rate is in assets leases there is one also note in oracle cloud at the oracle support you can search by this node there just a brief about the comparison between in case you already have a license of oracle lease accounting module or you are going to use the feature or the process as the assets leases in oracle fusion fixed assets some brief of the functionality between here and there what else asset setup as setup you have because we will use two modules fixed assets and payables so there are some prerequisites setups you have to it must be ready in fixed assets and the payables after you completed you can start to create your leases and generate the invoices make depreciation, terminations, send the invoices to payable, start to make your payment, blah, blah, blah. First of all, in fixed assets, you have to enable lease the assets option for your assets book. You have to also manage as assets lockup. There is one lockup through setup maintenance, manage fixed assets lockup. You can enter Aura FA allow lease and you can enter the book and common set for reference data set after that you have to set up at least one leased assets category assign it to your book you must enter all the correct values for the accounting enter lease as the assets category type here all lease default accounts there are a lot of once you enabled or allowed the lease for the book and uh, define the category as a leased assets category there are some leases counting 
must be you have to enter the values for each one let's show you in my slides I just take some screenshot here first of all once you log in and select financial manage asset book manage asset book select whatever you the book you need then allow leased assets after that add a lookup just manage fixed assets lookup through uh, man uh, setup and maintenance go to down and this is the lookup you can add add the book common set this is not list of value you have to take the same asset book here like a text enabled meaning you can take the same let's come back to our slides for the categories asset category you just define the asset setup and maintenance financial manager asset category manage asset category define whatever you want and the category type lease ownership leased capitalized enabled but here to tell the system that this category will be using for asset leases once you select this category type you will find some of the accounting there are two tabs accounts and the default rule for the accounts you will find a lot of accounts lease liability lease interest expense operating lease expense gain and loss and the lease clearing for example lease liability lease liability is initial lease liability periodic interest on lease liability and the periodic lease payment are charged to this account for lease internet expenses uh, sorry interest expenses only expense type account is allowed for finance lease assets the interests on lease liability is charged to this account for the operating lease expense only expense also type account is allowed for operating lease assets because later you will know that there are two type of leases finance leasing operating leasing so this account for operating lease assets operating lease expenses that is calculated to allocate the cost of the lease over the lease term is charged to this account gain and loss as you know that again on the expense and revenue type is allowed it's raising from the termination and the scope ch change are charged to this account like in fixed assets once you make the retirement of the assets the gain and the loss will be show in the picture of the accounting entries the same here in the assets leases for the lease clearing account the same is assets clearing only asset type account is allowed periodic lease payments that reduce the lease liability is credited to this account and the credits will be reversed when lease payment invoice is accounted in your account payable system what else there is also lease currency rate gain and loss only expense and revenue again like the same of gain and loss type is allowed required for assets book with reporting currency if you are going to use a reporting currency gain or loss on lease liability due to change in the currency rate is charged to this account so this is some accounts once you allowed the category the other tab here as a default rules once you come here there are default rules payment type excluded from liability and payment type excluded from cost this is checkboxes by default you can enable whatever you want you can disable but this checkbox is defaulted once you created and just click on the tab of the default rule 
specify default rules that are applied automatically when you create a lease using create lease page we will see it later payments such as variable lease payments and the initial direct cost are normally not included in lease liability and the cost calculation so you must specify the lease payment to be excluded from lease liability and the cost cal uh, calculation in these fields either payment type excluded from liability payment type excluded from cost again we we think we agreed that there are a lot of business cases there are a lot of conditions there are a lot of requirement though once you got the concept once you got this field for the purpose of each field it will be easy for you to map between your business requirement and the functionality like in this video of oracle fixed assets lease let's come back here all of this we already finished lease clearing and lease currency specify as we said payment exclude from liability and exclude from cost what is the payable setups it's just you have to complete this setup like assign at least one business unit as a business payable business unit to your primary ledger and create at least one supplier supplier site for each your leasers from suppliers work area in oracle procurement because during a create the lease the system will ask you to enter the leasers like suppliers and supplier sites and before of that you will select which business unit so you have to complete at least one business unit in oracle cloud payable and assign at least one supplier with one supplier site to this business unit i think by default you defined all of this as a payable setup but for the asset setups you have to allow the list and define the category as a list and field the systems with the accounting all accounts which is related to lease assets what else here to create a lease there are two ways we will see it now i just need to give you a brief as the introduction as a concepts as the definitions as the calculations then we will go to systems to calculate sorry to create the lease calculate the depreciation transfer the invoice to payable run depreciation try to terminate to check the bending blah 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 to create a lease there are two ways using the create lease page as a ui user interface the other thing is import assets lease fbdi as you know that if the new feature in oracle cloud i think it covers most of the modules it's a tool like excel sheet you can download the template fill the data submit the template and check is it successfully or not navigation you will we will see it later that there is one in fixed assets on the right side tasks there is one manage lease tasks Manage lease tasks is display only for book which the lease feature is enabled. As we said before, here we for the assets book we enabled allow list assets. So once you log in to Oracle Fixed Assets and you have access to a lot of books, you have to select a books which is enabled allow list assets. If you select a box without this check box is enabled you will not find manage these tasks so you have to ensure that first you have to ensure that you finished or implemented the setup all setup required then start to create your asset lease use the manage leases for a lot of purposes you can create new leases view pending transactions existing leases to view all of the existing leases as information 
to generate the invoices, to review the lease payment, transfer also invoices to buyable cloud, change financial term, and terminate leases. What is the lease information? There are two types of lease information. First of thing is general lease information. General lease information, as you see here, that lease number, unique identifier to track the lease in assets. What is the lease description? What is the category? And before we define the category as a menu, menu with leased enabled. What is the contract number? If any and need not to be unique. What is the payable business unit? Leaser and leaser side as a supplier and supplier side corresponding to each leaser. What is the lease start date? Lease payment commandment date. If you are creating an existing lease with advanced payment option, lease start date has to be the last payment date. What is the payment frequency? Either choose an interval from the list, either monthly, quarterly, yearly, half yearly, and so on. What is the payment option? Specify whether the lease payment is made in advance or arrear. For example, in monthly frequency, whether payment to be made on first day of the month or last day of the month. Generate payment invoices specify whether the lease payment invoices to be generated at the lease level, one invoice per lease or asset level, one invoice for each right of use, ROU assets. Again, generate payment invoices. During creation the lease, you will find two types. You will generate a payment invoice at the lease level or at asset level. Because in lease level, I can assign or create a lot of assets. We will see all of this later, don't worry. So maybe I create one lease within 10 assets. Maybe I create one lease with 100 assets, whatever the business case. So in this case, you will create the invoices at the lease level, whatever the number of assets is there, or at assets level, I have 100 assets level, so one invoice for each right of use assets. This is the general lease information. We continue here that you can generate lease payment invoices for a corporate book only, no tax book. When you choose not generate invoices at all, you have the option to enter directly manually in payables. What you will put there in distribution, you will using lease clearing account. Again, during create the lease, you have two option of are you going to generate invoices automatically or not? If your checkbox enabled, so you the system will generate it automatically. If not, so in this case, you have to enter the invoices as a manual direct in payables what is the account you will path in the distributions is lease clearing account again as you know that dff or the descriptive flex fields to capture additional generic lease informations it's optional up to you if you need to add some additional informations you have to create descriptive flex field for leases the second information is financial term. Financial term includes lease term, lease classifications, payment schedule. Financial term is specific to a book to allow multiple representations of an asset's lease. It's possible to classify a lease as an operating lease in GAAP, reporting book and finance lease in and IFRS books. The least term that there are calculation as it's calculates calculates the least term based on the information that you entered in the following fields. First of thing, 
Nan cancelable term, which is the number of the invoices in months in which the lease cannot be cancelled by the leasee, always included in the lease term calculation. Extendable term, number of months that lease can be extended by the leasee, included also in the lease term, only if you decide to extend the lease. What is the cancelable term? Number of months that lease has an option to terminate the lease. Also include in the lease term only if you decide not to terminate the lease. Lease or option term. Number of months the lease can extend or cancel the lease. And exercise options. Indicate whether you want to exercise the option to purchase, extend or cancel lease. This is the lease term. What else? Number of assets. Again, during create the lease, you have there is one field. How many assets you will assign it to this lease? Assets allow to add any number of the assets from a lease. While creating, specify the number of assets that you want to add. Assets automatically divides the lease level schedule into the correct number of asset level schedules based on the number of assets you specify. These lines will be available where in the addition info tile in assets landing page. For example, if I assigned three assets to the lease, once I add and finalize the definition of my lease, I just navigate to the assets addition info tile. I will find three assets, three lines for each for these three assets. You have to complete the normal process of adding assets to assign the expense account, location, changes the SQUI from new to post, post mass addition, create accounting, and create your depreciation. Variable lease expense account. This is expense account that lease payment that are not included in lease liability, such as variable lease payment, will be charged to this account. Generate lease payment invoices has a separate line for this payment with this account at distribution account for the variable lease expense what is the payment schedule there are two level of lease payment schedule lease level and asset level as i told you before that you have two options either generate payment invoices at lease level or asset level lease level payment schedule many assets of an asset class or type are leased through a single lease contract with one lease payment schedule for all assets included in that lease. The lease term, lease payment amount, and the rest will be the same for all assets. For this type lease, you can either add one asset or you can add each leased assets as separate assets in the assets book. You can use recurring payment tab and one time payment tab to enter lease payment schedules. Recurring that every month or whatever, the payment will be generated or one time as a one time payment. You are adding more than one asset, asset automatically divides the leased asset schedule that you entered into many asset level schedules based on what? Based on the number of assets which added to this lease. When assets level schedules are created automatically from lease level schedules, any changes you make to the lease level schedules are automatically propagated to all asset level schedules. Because in this case we will work on asset sorry in lease level not asset level. So whatever the changes you make will be propagated to all asset level schedules. You can update asset level schedules with when the lease payment amount changes for only one particular asset. Any changing made directly to the asset schedule or any additional schedules that were added directly in the asset tab will make the lease level schedule inactive. Asset level many Different assets are leased through a single lease contract for a specific period. 
So the lease payment amount under interest rate may be different for each asset because our level here is assets. I have 10 assets, 100 assets, whatever. So the interest rate may be different for each one. For this type of lease, you cannot have any lease level schedules and you can enter only separate payment schedule for each asset in the asset tab. The payment schedule informations that payment type are tied to the frequency of the lease payment. These contract normally have two types recurring payment one time lease payment for example a lease payment that needs to be made for the first day of every month is recurring payment the purchase price that needs to be paid on the last day of the lease term is one time payment this is the difference between which payment type you are going to use as a recurring every way end of the month you need to create generate payment invoices to send it to payable to make a payment or only one time payment recurring payment amount payable on specific dates specific frequency part of lease term the difference recurring payment term periodic variable other payment one time payment amount payable at a specific date during the lease term the various one time payment is initial direct cost, advance lease payment, purchase price, residual value, termination or termination penalty. All of this is various one time payment types. Lease classifications. Lease are automatically classified as a finance lease. As I told you, there are two types of lease. Finance lease, operating lease. During define the lease, if one of the following options is enabled, if none of the options are enabled, again, if one or any of the following option is enabled, it will be considered as finance lease. If none of the options are enabled of the following options, the lease will be operating lease. What is the options? Purchase, major lease term, substitution present value ownership transfer and specialized assets these all formations or options during create the lease if you enabled one of them it will be considered as a finance if you didn't enable any of these it will be considered as operating lease Transactions on lease, once you create the lease assets, what transactions you, it's allowed for you to make it? You can make cost adjustment, source of an adjustment, retirement. You can retroactive or backdated assets. You can reclass from lease to owned or leasehold improvement category. You can make depreciation, permanent revaluation for any operating lease assets. The difference between finance and operating, as we said before, that one of the previous options, once it's enabled, it will be finance. Lease for finance, the lease lease must recognize two different type of expenses: the rest on the lease liability and amortization or depreciation of the ROU. Assets recognize two periodic expenses for all finance lease assets: depreciation, the rest on lease liability finance. Depreciation like capitalized assets using standard depreciation rules such as depreciation method, convention, rate calendar, blah blah blah. At the time of the addition, the depreciation rules such as the method and life are defaulted from where? From the definition of the category, assets category. You can override the default rule if necessary. You can run the process depreciation info tile on the assets like the normal process of fixed assets cloud. You cannot close the period without calculating the lease interest expense for all finance lease assets in the book. This is one step added for the asset leases before run depreciation or close period with run depreciation. You have to run the interest leases expense and generate all expenses for the current period of your assets book to generate all of the invoices which is related to your lease and 
also to generate interest expense if you assign specific rates at the lease level what is the operating lease for the operating lease depreciation checkbox will be unchecked while adding operating lease it's not required to depreciate like financial lease assets when you run calculate depreciation process no depreciation is calculated because the depreciation checkbox is unchecked for operating lease also expense accounts all segment except natural account will come from depreciation expense account in assets assignment and the natural account will be from category default account liability account will be the active liability account for the assets depreciation reserve account derived using the same logic used depreciation accounting for finance lease assets and owned assets the same concept here will be there there is one note for operating lease that no catch up operating lease expense will be calculated for the backdated operating lease you must manually enter the opening depreciation reserve at the time of adding the operating lease right of use assets or later before close the period in which assets was added how to create lease assets what is the process to create lease assets what is the lease calculations let's get into application to transform these informations as a practical to check all of these during create our lease I just come into our software login select your fixed assets before of that as I told you you have to complete the setup book category then go to fix assets assets here you have to select the book which is you allowed the allow list enabled this book I think I didn't allowed no I allowed let me select another book is it allowed or not anyway that I will select the proper book and come here and select manage leases through manage leases as I told you there are a lot of options you can create you can generate invoices you can see all of the invoices and you can transfer you can check the pending transactions and the take the actions this is manage leases from the lease here all of the leases you already created before you need to create a new one just click create it will give you our two information financial term and general information as we said before the general information number description category contract uh, business unit blah 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 for the finance financial terms what is the book what is the, our calculations or how many assets what about is it operating or finance let's take it one by one or uh, at least your number YouTube uh, first leader first lease what is the lease description the same what is the category here you have to select the proper category which is enabled for what for lease just I need to select lease I create two categories one major one minor okay do you have contract number this is up to you lease one two three four five what is the business unit I have used my business unit what is the resource Leaser as supplier and supplier side. So I will select my supplier and supplier side. 
what is the lease start date? The system will not create any payment invoices for the previous periods. For example, the current period of this book is, I think, August. If I go to here and select my book, August. So the system will not generate any payment invoices for previous periods. So I can put, for example, first of July. What is the payment frequency? Quarterly, semi-annually, annually, quarterly. I will select monthly. Payment options in arrear. In arrear means by the end of each month, or in advance. In advance, as a one payment here, one time payment. As a one time, I will put it in arrear. Means because I select here monthly, so. By the end of each month, I need to generate the payable payment invoice, transfer it to payable, make my payment. What is the generate payable payment invoices? We said before, lease level, that it will be at the lease level, whatever the assets you added here, or asset level, it will be for each assets if you have add 10 it will be 10 100 100 and so on or no in case of we select no you tell the systems i will not generate any payment invoices automatically either lease level or assets level let me make it manually either recurring spreadsheet whatever so i will keep it as lease level do you have an attachment no this is the general information Let's go to financial term. Which book? The same book. non concernable term that we said that if months is two concernable terms, how many months? I will select, for example, four. Is there any condition for extendable term or not? I will not extendable. What about concernable term? In case of you need to concernable how many months, for example, two. What is the leisure option term? Either a two or whatever. Once you see here that the lease term, it will be make the calculation of it is non concernable term plus concernable plus extendable plus leisure option term. Like what we said before here just our calculation here non considerable term number of months which this cannot be cancelled extendable can be extended cancelable option to terminate the lease leaser number of months of the leaser can extend the calculation list term is this plus this plus this plus this blah 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 here like the same whatever you put it here it will be calculated here what is exercise options for this lease are you going to make purchase renew terminate once you select for example all see here what is the lease classification until now is operating if i select all it will be changed to finance if again you unselect, it will be operating and so on. And also, you remember if I select one of these, it will be finance. As we said here, that once you I think Here, once you select one of these is enabled, it will be changed to finance. If none of the options are enabled, it will be operating. I will not select, it will come back again to operating. I will select exercise here as a all, it will be finance. If it major lease term, it will be changed also to finance. How many assets? In this case, let me add, for example, three assets. 
will be more for you variable least expense initial present value initial present value will be calculating depends on the payment or the amount you put it here once you saved it will be as initial present value let's go to calculations as equations of least term just I write here least calculation least calculation there are present value as you see here we will talk about all of these fields present value fair value variable lease expense and cost and liability and so on present value is present value for all lease payment included in lease liability calculation exclude from liability is no it's the sum of principal redu reduction amount as I told you present val value here if I put here for example 10,000 once I saved and uh, finalize and generate schedule this present value will be 10,000 multiply 4 this 4 from where from lease term here as non considerable term at the 4 if the number of payments were 5 so 10,000 multiply 5 it will be bring as an um, initial present value and as you see here is optional not required what about the liability amount at the time of the lease additions liability calculation is what is the same present value and the present value is the liability amount principal amount can be found anywhere in amortization, amortization schedule here amortizations and there is in table in if is uh, amount or amort schedules for each row in the amortization schedule the liability amount become new liability amount equal old minus principal reduction amounts what is the cost at the time of lease additions cost equal liability plus payment excluded from lease liability but included in cost for the lease reassessment the new cost will be equal old cost plus new liability amount minus old liability amount backdated leases where the lease start date falls on the previous period of the assets book like our cases cost liability as the lease start date the plus payment excluded from lease liability but included in cost this payment was exclude from liability is yes and exclude from cost is no liability the opening lease liability balance as the start of the current open period of your asset book again you can good some of these informations once we saved and generated schedule for the recurring payment are you going to make a recurring payment or one-time payment after you make and generate you will find a new tab here like assets to give you some information of what is the assets how many assets or what is the assets level and the information is related for each lease because maybe in the future once you define a lot of lease you need to define to know how which assets is assigned or generated to this lease which assets to generate to other lease and so on it will not will be applicable once we generate the schedules here what is the payment date what is the interest due date if you have interest date you can put it here and here exclude from liability exclude from cost is it up to you are going to exclude from liability exclude from cost this is up to you up to your business requirements else you can define one-time payment for the on-time payment again exclude from liability exclude from cost what is the amount this is only one time but recurring it will be generated four times from July until October that's it that's it you can save saved once you saved you have to go to bending transactions 
you will find your leads make generate schedule generate schedules to start to give you the initial present value to start to do generate invoices and also to create three assets in assets addition info tile and make post additions and continue so then i will generate schedule it will i just make monitor processes to check generate it must be succeeded just refresh generate latest schedule here is succeeded just come back to the assets you can uh, click down again go to manage releases bending is post again click and click submit submit submitted come here to check if there any submitting or not there is no submitting just click done and click here click here come again to additions you will find three assets one two three before of that let me go to manage assets manage releases to show you present initial value here as i told you that the present will be 10 multiply 4 is 40,000 for this 40,000 our three assets here done done one two three because we add three assets in this list if i click as you see here 13 13 13 if i take this copy the total of all of them must be 40,000 control v at least three here because there is one third six so all it must be 40,000 for each of one you can go to either prepare all or like manual additions or whatever additions you created come here complete your uh, depreciation expense allocations assign employee any the normal process of your assets sorry let me select the proper one units enter company okay what is the location i just can like any location okay let me take it copy change it from new to post anything else nothing save and close this is our first one what is the second the same way we need to follow what is the depreciation what is the program unit their company okay post As you see here leased ownership leased again save and close go to the third one once i end you see that this triangle is removed because you already completed the data you come to depreciation expense put your data units and enter company okay change it to post save and close now all of them is completed you have to run post mass addition post post mass additions okay it will ask you which book submit okay it will give running still running until either succeeded or not 
So first you define your release, generate schedules, submit, make additions of your assets, whatever how many assets you have, run post mass additions. Still running. Succeeded here. So if I come back to manage leases here you can edit you can change a financial term you can terminate you can assign book for the vending transactions there is no vending transaction for the lease payment you can transfer payment before of that you can generate invoices before of that I just need to show you the process that create lease in bending generate schedule in bending also make a submit in mass additions post mass additions you have to calculate lease expense create accounting and generate calculate lease expense from here just come back here you can make calculate lease expense this option only for leased assets book before calculate depreciation or below before close the period you have to calculate lease expense it will calculate it and there is one submitted once it's submitted you have to create accounting and generate invoices before create accounting and generate invoices you have to ensure that the period is open in gl and accounting payable for example in August you have to ensure it must be open here and there if it is July blah 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 so after that we finalize lease and we have to create accounting and then we need to generate invoices either from here or from there create accounting select your book until this final summary or I will click on detail submit click on detail to, to see the accounting entries of either depreciation for addition blah 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 create accounting is still running Create accounting sub processes. Running, running must give you also exception or the reward which is showing you the journal entries. Journal entries depends on the account you assigned for each category of the lease asset category the theme liability clearing instead of assets clearing lease clearing instead of assets liability lease liability and so on the same concept in oracle vision fixes because the same feature in vision fixed assets so until it finalize and you have to ensure that the same periods is opened in pebbles and DGL. Create accounting execution report must be inshallah success. So after that we can check the output to check the accounting entries of our lease. Still running, succeeded. You can click and go to down output start open as you see here that there are additions three periodically is expense three because we have three assets what is the journals as you see here cost lease liability lease clearing accumulating depreciations the same for each of our assets and for the additions or periodically expense 
lease liability, lease clearing, lease liability, lease clearing, lease liability, lease clearing. For each assets, specific journals for periodic lease expense and addition. This is the journal entries. Now we finalize create accounting now you need to generate invoices generate invoices again from manage leases to generate the invoice generate invoices you can select whatever the period or from lease number to lease number let me select in july because we've put our first payment due in july let me click and the transfer invoice yes or no you have to select yes and invoice date you this is options to select a specific lease number to lease number and lease or as a supplier submit you have to check the process again generate lease payment invoices again transfer lease payment is succeeded let me check the output there is no any invoices so i will do one thing i will schedule the same process for august because the current period is august submit okay and come back succeeded let me check the output here log file there is one invoice header transferred before of going to payables just run payable import you remember this payable import invoice import this select your source as assets Select the source, these business units, ledger, blah blah blah. Just come here and select assets. That's it, yes, submitted. Okay, make refresh. Porting is in process. Refresh, import is succeeded. You can navigate to payable, let me duplicate go to mm, payable invoices here it ju just show you the whole invoices our invoices here if you remember the our lease name and the description or number is you uh, yt1 lease just click on it and the system is generate your invoices every time you can generate the same first you have to calculate expense and then generate your invoices invoices came here what is the distribution combinations if you remember this is is lease clearing account if you remember this for example seven triple one zero six i will show it here for category the same here lease clearing is came here in distributions and for the liability is a normal liability of the suppliers as a liability suppliers then you can con complete whatever the tax no tax blah 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 and uh, validate approve and so on so this is how to generate how to create how to assign a lot of assets 100 200 300 whatever the number of assets you have so this is our invoice and here you will find also the invoices which is already you transferred or you can once you make generate you can come here to transfer all the invoices pending transactions to check only what 
whatever the transaction is there whatever the lease you have here I think now you got the process that sorry for here create lease impending generate schedule submit again post mass addition after you complete all your uh, assets calculate create and generate and make import payable import invoices with asset source again and again you can create whatever the lease you want for example you can create lease for asset level without invoices you can create only with one assets with 100 assets you can make it operating but operating there is no depreciation will be there you can uh, here select only one time payment so you can whatever your requirement or business requirement you can create it and please you have to follow the same steps here create generate submit post calculate generate and so on before closing the period of depreciation you have to first as i showed you before to generate come here come here calculate lease expense after that close the period what else we have that terminate lease this is the option of terminate lease can terminate anytime start uh, of the lease middle at the end termination of lease before the expiration of the lease term shall be accounted by leasey by removing the right or as a rou of the assets and asset lease liability with profit or loss when termination happen at the end of the lease term the lease liability balance and the net book value must be zero and there is no gain or loss gain or loss is only when the termination happen before the end of the lease term all lease or particular assets in the lease can be terminated enter termination details in the lease level payment schedule to terminate the whole lease and asset level payment when a particular asset is terminated the lease level schedule will become become inactive as the lease level schedule will not be sum of all asset level schedules to terminate lease go to manage lease select lease and select terminate action for example here just come to the manage lease select for example this come here this is delete let me select like this mo0 because the invoices and the generate everything is completed for this and the amount is there you can come here either change financial term or terminate if you click on terminate for mo02 it gave you that terminate please blah 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 you have to what generate schedules and you must enter the date here what is the termination date you must enter a date of termination date that within current open period that current period is august generate see the incident okay no problem i will cancel and again i can come back to terminate here terminate just select august generate it will be generated again go to monitor process to check the generate and they come back to here generate lease and they come back to check the status of mo02 which you already terminated before come here what is the bending bending come here termination post submit termination posted done 
So this is how to terminate. Again, create accounting, check the accounting, all of this. Terminate lease, you can enter, allow it will be read only, only the date what? The current period, open period. Select and so on. A lease can terminate a lease anytime. Sorry, this is, I think, is duplicated. There is no rollback for lease termination and the reinstatement of leased asset retirement are not allowed. If you remember for the current fixed assets modules or either in business or fusions, once you terminate or sorry retire the assets, you can reinstate. Here there is no rollback for lease termination. Once you terminate, you cannot roll back. You have to create it again as a new lease. What is the lease report? There are a lot, a lot of lease reports. Assets lease liability to list all lease li liability account balance movement. This is a standard report. In case of new to customs, you can custom whatever the report you want. There are one li report for liability report, another for expense report, another for data extract report. Extract and display the current asset lease data in lease addition FBDI. Before I finished, I need to show you how just here how to use FBDI. There is one FBDI template. You just click on search by Google in FBDI import FBD financials. Come here, go to assets and select fixed assets lease import. It will give you one template. Just download it, open it fill it submitted you will find i think three tabs if i opened you will find one for lease one for fa lease box and the lease schedule like payable invoice this is general information what is the lease I think uh, financial information, what is the schedules, is it payment type, start date, number, rates, and so on. There are three uh, areas in the UI front end. Here it's the same but in tab. Once you finish, go to data and Oracle and sorry, generate. Generate CSV file and make your import as it leaves request. I just need to tell that I, I cannot cover all of the business cases. If in case of you have any questions, any uh, complex business case, whatever, just write in the descriptions or email me or whatever to resolve it thanks for watching